show our escort again which is like the QR code with our entry information and like COVID stuff and like my QR code worked and yours totally didn't and it kept saying like I think error 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 he's like okay he's like go ahead <laughs> are you sure is it <laughs> well, we're all packed up I think we should try to find coffee and definitely some water well, this is not too long of a drive, I think two and a half hours, so. Oh, some strong Nescafe. Ready to go to Shandy? Bye. that our passports are not in the passport bag that we carry with us. So we're trying to figure that out. I think, do you said like look in the suitcases? I, they're not in the suitcases. We left the passports in the hotel, I'm pretty sure. So I need to take a break from this. Yeah. I'm looking at the video when we checked in and I literally stopped the video when they asked for the passports. I couldn't find anything on the videos. Like I literally stopped the video and then in the elevator. The hotel have... the hotel still has they still have our passports. What? Cool. What did they say? They're shipping it this way. Shipping them? Yeah. And then I was like, is that safe? And they're like, yeah, yeah, the problem is over. When are they going to arrive? He said in two days. I feel more comfortable just going there and picking up the passports. Uh, I don't think I can drive in Gaziantep. No, a bus. It's not that far. We can just take the bus tomorrow, go, go to the hotel. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but what if the passports like arrive here late? What if something happens? Like I have no way of replacing my passport. You know, like if my passport gets lost, like that's it for me. I have to move to Turkey. So it looks like we're going back. I was like, "Mine, we can get the donor." You get. <laughs> <laughs> we can. We totally can. No, we shouldn't. We will. But we'll get baklava. That's for sure. And that's Speaking right. of baklava, I need some baklava. They have no alcohol here, <laughs> so. <laughs> so baklava it is. Even if you didn't have a Venezuelan passport, at least you have each leak off day. Things could be worse. Tomorrow we go on our bus to get our passport back. So we're going to call it a night, we're going to have dinner, we're going to call it a night. We'll see you in the morning. If you're Venezuelan, you understand why we're getting on a bus for three hours back and forth on the same day to grab it, the, our passports.
stopped, or not stopped, but we pulled over to a police control point. And we have had this in the past where like police comes in the box and they ask for everyone's ID, they scan them and they ask for a passport. And today we were just hoping, like I would just hope that this doesn't happen today because we don't have our passports yet. And we got, like went to like a checking point and they asked for like our IDs. Thank God like the police didn't actually come in the bus. And we just live in we were, we were tourists, not Turkish. And they, they didn't ask for anything else. But I, I feel like I'm, I was gonna throw up. <laughs> it only took two hours and we're back in Gaziantep. Hopefully we can find an express bus on the way back. Well, here we are. How are we feeling? Well, I don't know. Hoping they didn't ship them. Yeah. <laughs> That's what? <laughs> no, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. <laughs> it happens. Thank you. We have them. We have them. Cool. This one for her, very important. Ah, uh, do you want to copy here? Yes. yes. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> That's good. It's all good. We have the best one. We're very happy. Tired. First coffee. They offer us coffee. We haven't had coffee. We were a little upset, but the guy was. They're so nice here. <laughs> yeah, the people at the front desk are so nice. It's hard also, to get mad at them. It is also. Our, it is our also fault. our fault because we never checked our passport back, you know, ever. So, let's learn. The Venezuelan passport is literally irreplaceable. Yes, it is. Yep. So. Um, we have coffee, and then we get chicken donors and back to work. Life is okay. And it's all good. The same. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Dan. So, yes. <laughs> I love him. I love him too. He's so happy that we order the same thing every time. And now he knows our order. He's like, Hi, Dan. Yes. I'm the same. It feels good to be somewhere from the which we haven't experienced in a long time. So we get to experience that twice today. So coming back to Gaziantep, the hotel was familiar, the dorm place is familiar, the street, this is our street. And now in the afternoon we go back to Urfa and it's already familiar. We're stuck right there. So things are looking up. Things are looking up. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, I get you to give me a tip. I'm playing you. Today we go to Urfa. Urfa, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, don't ask me. Yeah. Best yeah. done. Bye, thank you. Happy pit stop because the bus leaves. What time? Every half hour. But we probably wouldn't make it there for the next half hour slot. So. I thought you could set up. We this hip little cafe overlooking the shopping the boulevard. boulevard. I'll show you how it looks like, what we mean by the boulevard. Called Fair is happening. Is there? So much, so much Turkish stimulation all at once. We're not going home empty handed. We have our baklava. We ran all of our errands. We ran our errands. Yeah. We're the same guy. <laughs> Merhaba. Merhaba. How are you? Good. You? <laughs> Normal. <laughs> Normal. Morning. Morning. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Teşekkürler. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that guy was the nicest person I, uh, ever. I love him. I love him too. He's I'm like, next Turkey. time you come to Turkey, he's like, please stay in my house, and he meant it, 100%. I'll, I'll make, I'll make donors. Yeah. He's like, kebab, kebab. <laughs> And he, we have his WhatsApp number, and he's like, message me, message me. So I think we're what, WhatsApp. Like, all the things that he translated, I am very happy to know you. Uh -huh. I love it. It was the same guy that took us to the bus 
station yesterday. Yeah, so he remembers. And us we, too. yeah. He was yeah. very confused. <laughs> we have our tickets to Urfa again. <laughs> uh, I think this is the express bus for two hours. They confirmed it and I believe them. So hopefully it should be a smooth ride. The only thing is we have to wait like 40 minutes before we head out, but we're in paradise here with the palm trees. <laughs> And the breeze flowing through, there's pistachios, baklava. We didn't get an insane amount. Just enough to get us some Monday. We also have more baklava in our room, so. Eight hours later, we are back in Shamli Urfa. We have our passports. It's time to go to our hotel and relax for a little bit. It felt like a long day now that, I don't know, now that we arrived, it's kind of like, ugh. It's four o'clock right now and we left the hotel at 8.30. We have one more taxi to go. A lovely bed. We made it. We made it back to our hotel. Everything went fine. It was a long day. But... It was a very long day, but that's not something that's going to happen again. I'm sure we learned our lesson. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be on top of our passports every time now that we use them. We learn the hard way. But I'm just grateful that everything went fine. And now we get to shower. We cold. have more baklava than when, when we left. <laughs> we had our donor. Oh no, I'm really gonna miss them. Anyways, these things happen all the time in life. Traveling, different problems, but this story had a happy ending. So I'm very grateful that we have our passports. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what was that? Meanwhile, in our hotel. They have live music tonight. Open the blinds, please. I feel really bad that we're not out there. I cannot I handle it. Like, yeah. I don't know if you can see anything. It's really nice, but it's just, it's just not the day for it, you know? <laughs> That's the day. Welcome to ground zero of civilization. It is absolutely amazing to witness this. Um, it doesn't seem like much and it's, it's a very small area because they have only excavated 5% so far. Um,